Hey guys, how's it going? Chris Chen here with Project Joy. Um, I Okay, I think this is like two or three weeks combined. I've just been so busy, I haven't had time to do it. I'm actually at the DMV right now and I'm gonna tell you why. Um, so this last two weeks, um, I've been really, really busy with client work and doing a lot of name painting. Name painting business is definitely picking up. I think it's with Christmas and stuff, um, getting a lot of orders. I've um, been doing a lot of client work too. I, I can't really talk about the projects I've been doing, but they are pretty big and I've been juggling three different clients and I've uh, been kind of stressing out about it. Um, so the reason why I'm at the DMV right now is because uh, I lost my wallet. Uh, I think I was at the gym the other day and I think I left my bag in the gym. I was just tired, just totally frazzled. And I think it's just a symptom, like that I've been taking on way too much stuff. And um, yeah, I need to slow down and take some more time. So yeah, something I learned, uh, and uh, yeah, I think it's a common theme that if I rush things, I tend to mess up. Uh, last week I had a name painting and I actually messed up on the spelling because I was in a rush. And usually I don't really mess things up. Usually I'm pretty careful, but that day I remember just I was rushing it. And here I was rushing it again, and I lost my wallet, my credit card, my cash, everything. So yeah, it's a lesson learned. I gotta learn the lesson. Um, one way I'm applying the lesson is, uh, today I was supposed to do Project Life Coach with Jonathan, but at the same time I felt like I, I didn't really have that much time to do it because I needed to get my license at the DMV as well as um, I do some more client work today. So, you know, I told Jonathan I was busy and we decided to just cancel it and do it next week. And I was, wow, it just feels really good to not be so stubborn and wanting to get things and not being so goal oriented. Instead, be more flexible and um, just being able to surrender more. Um, this weekend, I was actually at this workshop with James Pick and John Park and learned a lot of stuff. But I think one of the highlights of the weekend was I met this Muslim friend and uh, we're talking about how the word Muslim I think means like one who surrenders. And last week I think I talked about how I was trying to find a parking space and um, I tried finding a parking space for 30 minutes and, and, and I gave up and when I did give up I finally found it. And it's something I've been trying to do just surrendering, letting go and just going with the flow just I've, um, so this is called project joy and I think one of the big things I'm learning from the project is that you can't you can't seek joy you can't seek happiness you can't seek peace I, I feel like it's when you decide that you don't need peace anymore is when you do have peace when you realize that when you give up your search for happiness is when you're finally happy and when you stop seeking joy is when you are finally joyful okay so I think that's something I definitely learned this week because I've been trying to seek joy um, by doing a lot of like hedonistic, not hedonistic, but like eating cool food, seeing movies, you know, going to theme parks. And I don't think that really makes me joyful. It just makes me more stressed out. And definitely, I, I think just letting go and surrendering your attachment to joy, to happiness, is one of the keys to actually living it. Um, all right, uh, let's see what other things are worth mentioning. Uh, I think another thing worth mentioning is that recently I'm starting to do uh, get out and meet more uh, like dating. I'm trying to get back into dating. So I've been doing like the online dating scene for a while, OkCupid, and I'm gonna actually write an article about how to optimize your profile, uh, kind of like a resume, how to make it so it's really, really good. And I'm gonna teach some strategies, uh, how to learn how to do it. So I'm not gonna teach you how to do it, I'm gonna teach you how to teach yourself. Uh, another thing I've been doing is, um, so what happened was, I think uh, a couple weeks ago, I was in LA and um, uh, I saw this really cute girl, I was talking to her and then I just left because I was so shy and I haven't talked to girls in such a long time and I realized, hey, this is something I need to get handled. So I actually went on a forum called simplepickup.com slash forum. It's where guys learn how to meet girls in person and talk to them. Um, and I found someone who's also interested in the same thing and then we we're going to Spectrum and we we're meeting people and it's been really great, you know um, We would like to talk to girls. We meet at the mall ask for their numbers, you know Sometimes they have a boyfriend, uh, you know, sometimes they give us a number, but you know, we call them but they don't really call us back um, But it's definitely a pretty cool way of meeting people and we're definitely pushing ourselves out of our comfort zone and something I really enjoy um, Yeah um, 
to that. All right, uh, that's it for this week of Project Joy. I think this might be the last week. I'm not sure. All right, talk to you later. Bye.